Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, we're back again today. We've done all right today. Um, back again. We're going to finish off the blend on this cabinet right now. Uh, so this morning we did our first coat, which was more just about laying down our colors and sort of working out roughly where we want them. Now we're gonna smooth it out. We're going to sort of finesse our blend a little bit and just sort of get it looking really pretty. Um, so this is where we change things up a little bit. If something's not quite working, we move our colors around, we get the coverage as well. Um, we don't have 100% coverage, so we get that coverage. And this is sort of, for me, most of the time, this is the last big lot of paint. After this, it might be a little dabble here and there, but this is the last big lot of paint where we go over the whole piece. So, um, we've done all right this afternoon. We've done all right. Hang on, before we do this, I just want to show you something else. <laughs> oh. If you don't want to do this, you can make yourself a Minecraft mask. Uh, I just have to cut out the eyes. I'm waiting for the paint to dry, but my son wants to go as a Minecraft zombie. I don't think the colors are right. I use the colors that we've used on here. That's what I've been doing for the last like two hours of my life. Um, but he'd better be happy. It's <laughs> pain in the ass. I've had enough of doing that. All right, let me sit that there. All right, so we're coming back in with the same colors that we've already used. And we're just looking at um, smoothing it out. So we've laid down our base. Now we're coming in with our colors. So let me bring you a bit closer. We're going to work our way around this time. So we're going to start around here. Let me get you into position. So here's our side. I'm stand. I don't think it matters where I stand. I think I'm going to be right in the sunlight. Sorry, guys. Is that a bit better? That's better. And I'm not in the shadow. So this is where we're at. Actually, if I do it like that, then you can see. Let me grab the paintbrush. Would be beneficial. Right, we're going to start with this. Uh, should we go to the side? We might start with a bigger one on the side, I think. I don't know. So I've got a 63 mil brush and a 38 mil. So two different sizes. We'll have a play around. Now I've got, so just to recap, we're using Purico. These are silk finish. You can use any brand of paint you like. These are just what I've got open. So we're using up what we've got. If you have not watched part one, I do recommend that you go back and watch it just to get an idea of what we're doing. Um, our base, is Purico Basin Blocker with texture finish in it. So you can sort of just see it there. There's some texture on the drawers, um, which we're enhancing with our paint as well. So if you haven't watched part one and part two, go back and watch those. Watch this anyway, but they will sort of give you a quick rundown. Just scroll through them. Give you a quick rundown of what we've done. But we're using Purico Silk Finish. So our colors are Fern, which is this beautiful vibrant green. We have got Rainforest, I am almost out of rainforest, but it's like a bluey green. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. We have got Vineyard, which is this really beautiful, um, really earthy green. Then we've also got a custom mix. This one had gum nut, sugar cane, fossil, and something else in it. I can't remember what the other color was, but this was a custom mix that we did. We actually made this ages and ages ago we did a whole table with it uh, and that was another live and then last but not least uh we've got i'm just using up what i've got open i've got an old authentico color and this is called wilderness and it's a really nice dark um almost like an army green so we've got those and then we've also got let me grab them because i forgot to grab them We've also got some Montmark colors. Just these are my little accent colors. So those are all our main colors. These are our accents. So we have got burnt sienna. Did I turn the mic on? I did. Uh, yellow okra and viridian. Okay, so these are our little accent colors. There's only gonna be little peeps of these coming through at the moment. You can see we just popped a couple of little spots on. These aren't our hero these aren't our showstoppers these are just to enhance what we're doing all right so pop them down there because they're sort of going to be the last thing we're going to do i'm going to start with a big brush we'll see how we go and then i might switch to the smaller brush so as you can see we've sort of laid it down i've got my darks i've got my lights 
I've just laid down colors. Now we're gonna see how we go. I might have to unplug the mic. I've got 10% phone battery. I might have to unplug the mic, but we'll see how we're going. If I do, I apologize, but we'll play it by ear and see how we go. All right, so we've got our darks, we've got our lights. Now we're just going to work on getting this a little less patchy, a little bit more working together. So I'm going to start with, on this side, I'm gonna start with my fern. That was my base color. That's the color that I like the most. We're not necessarily gonna cover every square inch of this, okay? So some of this will still be, um, you'll still see some of this coming through. We're gonna scruff sand this a little bit later on, um, distress it rather. And we're also gonna hit it with a heat gun as well, which is gonna bubble it and then we're gonna chip some of it off. So you're going to see some of what's underneath coming through. But we're gonna go over the top right now and we're gonna add some of our color. So, and when I'm putting my color over the, lot, over the top, we're not using very much at all. I'm gonna use a nice big brush sometimes on, I used a smaller brush earlier and I just felt like it was a little bit small. So let's start with a bigger brush. If I find this is too big and not working for me, we'll switch around. Uh, have a variety of brushes on hand. So again, we're just gonna bring in our colors. And I'm just sort of gonna place them where we want them to be first. I know that I want quite a lot of my green up there. Now we're coming around the corner as well. So we've got quite a lot of the light green up there. So we're bringing it around. Now, not everything needs a full coat over it. So some pieces we can just get away. This is the rainforest. We can just get away with sort of bringing that through and not covering it all. And we're gonna mix the colors on the piece rather than mixing them on a palette. This I find gives us a much, it gives us that little bit more control, I think as well. I'm gonna bring our um, rainforest down here. So this is our really dark green. This is the one, there's like nothing left in this pot. There's only a little tiny dribble. So we're gonna bring it up. And I like to, when I'm really doing this side of the blend, sort of really focus on going every direction as much as possible, just so it doesn't look too much like it's um, in one direction, like it's been painted and such. I'm gonna come in with some of this wilderness. Uh, I don't believe you can get this in Australia anymore. Um, I used to be a stockist. And I've just had this jar hanging out on my shelf for so long. It's a really, really nice green, but it's giving us a bit of an earthy vibe here, which I like. I'm gonna come down through here as well. And I'm just sort of blotching it on, really. So this, I'm not gonna be putting on anywhere near as much paint as what I did earlier. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of this light, uh, lighter color. And I've just got a little tiny bit there. And I'm gonna grab some fern on my brush as well. And bring that through. Now I'm really liking this section. This bit here needs a bit of finessing. So now we're gonna come down. I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna bring in a little bit more of that lighter color. So again, just a little, hang on, my brush is quite big, it doesn't fit in the jar. Really, really little about. I'm gonna bring this in here. I'm gonna bring a little bit up here too, I think. And I'm gonna wipe some of that off on the table. I'm gonna come in with some of the vineyard, that's the Purico one. And we're gonna bring that through here as well. And it looks, it looks like a lot. And then we really start to Blend that in, see how it just sort of. And you don't have to use this many different colors either. I'm just gonna use my hand because I wanna wipe some of that off. And then I'm gonna come in with some of our rainforest, which is our dark green, again, which we loved. I'm gonna bring that down into this and then I'm gonna sort of pull that, that needs to come together a little bit more.
And one thing I do want to do, it's just warmed up in here a little bit. I'm just going to grab my spray bottle. Give me two seconds to find it more than anything. because I'm not putting much on there. Um, I just want to move that around a little bit more. So it's just going to reactivate that paint just a little bit. And it's going to let me blend that out a bit more too. Like so. Now I really like that. Now I want to come down here. This is working really well for me, but down here's not. So we're going to come in um, I want a little bit more of that rainforest. Again, I'm going to bring that up into there. And I'm going to come down into my baseboard as well and make sure that that's got lots of paint down here. I mean, so I want to make sure that all of that base and block that's underneath, it was a grey base, is covered. And I'm going to come in with some more of that fern as well. Um, that was way too much more brush, so I'm just going to wipe some of that off and bring that in here. That It's already in here, so we're just going sort of over the top. I like that placement, I liked where it was. And we're just going to bring it up into all these other areas. And bring these together. I want to come in with, I think I want this darker or Tenneco green again. I'm going to bring it down here. And we're going to bring it up and through like so. And really just blend that out, spread it out as much as we can. I'm going to grab, I've just got some of that green down here on the table. So I'm just going to grab it from there rather than the jar. And I'm just sort of, I'm swirling it around just to um, buff it out more than anything. I'm just looking at my camera, which bits am I seeing? This feels like it's got some really strong lines to it. So there's really nothing on my brush right now. That looks better. See how that just buffed it out a little bit? Sometimes you can get quite stark lines. And we just want to try and remove those a little bit. And um, so it's not so in your face. I really, really like that. Um, I'm just going to come in with just tiny little bits of the lighter green. That was probably almost too much there. I'm just really gently going to brush that over. And this is also going to help highlight some of that, um, the texture that we've got going on as well. Through there. And bringing that down as well. And then up a bit as well, because I do have a lot of that lighter green up here. That's really, really nice. This bit here is not quite working for me, so I'm just going to buff it again. I can bring in a little bit more of that fern. Beautiful. Now the baseboard, it's not working for me. It looks like a hot mess. So let's come in with some more of our rainforest first. I think I just want to darken it more than anything right now. Bring it up a 
little bit too. Uh, and we're going to come in with some of this darker colour again along the base. I'm just going to spritz it down. That's better. Bring that up a little bit, up this side as well. move on to the side I'm just gonna grab my little board here whoops oh, paint everywhere so it's just got a bit of cardboard will work for me just gonna squeeze out a bit of our yellow okra which is this um, like really burnt yellow color burnt orange sure why not let's have a bigger dab of that and I'll need them again uh, this one is the burnt sienna, which is like our brown. So these two colours together um, can look, when they're really blended out and blended well, they can look a lot like rust. So they can give you that really aged, grungy look. Um, so we're just what going to do... Actually, I want to use a different brush, I think. I'm going to grab a clean brush. Just going to do a little bit. I've got some of the Viridian as well already on here. And I'm almost going to use this like a paint palette. I'm going to mix just a little bit together. I'm liking this spot just here. I'm going to bring that over. Yeah, just like so. So what this is doing, because there's barely any on my brush, it's just helping highlight some of that texture as well. I don't want it to like all be highlighted, but I want to add a bit of interest and this is just at helping that interest. So I'm really, really rubbing that in. There's barely any on my brush. It's working with the paint. It's a little bit wet underneath, uh, which is what we want. Just grabbing a little bit of the, uh, what was the color? Is it burnt umber? Is that it? No, burnt sienna. Let it get burnt sienna, which is the brown. Again, a little tiny bit. I'm liking this bit up in here too. I'm really, really, really going to work that into there. And it adds a little bit of brightness. I'm going to come down and I'm going to brush that viridian down as well. See how it just lifted that corner just a little bit? It's not a lot, it's not in your face, but it's just, it's really, really subtle and it's just enough that it's there. So again, I'm just gonna bring some of it down here. I'm gonna do a little bit of the burnt sienna. And we're just going to rub it in. Now along the base, I definitely want some of that down there, but I want more of that um, burnt sienna more than anything. So I'm gonna bring it down now. Our base is quite wet, so this is really gonna blend in. Can you guys see the base? Yes, you can. So we're just bringing a little bit. And it just adds, it's not a lot, and it just adds that little bit more depth and just lifts it a little bit as well. Just makes it look a little less flat. Now there's barely any there on my brush and I'm just sort of going to brush that over a few sections. Just bring in a little bit of that green. I'm gonna work that through there. really nice. I feel like we need a little tiny bit here. I'm actually thinking we're going to do this lighter green. That's really subtle and you can barely see it but it's there. And it's just enough. 
And this is one of those things where I can spend hours just doing this, just adding and taking away these little patches of colour. I'll put you this side first. Let's do one door at a time. So we're going to do this side first. Uh, let me grab the rest of my paint. What do I want? I don't know that right now. So that can sit there. Let me grab everything out. Okay. I'm bringing it around. So we're going to do the same. I feel like I've got paint all over my face. I don't think I do. It just feels like it. Same as what we did on the other side. So I'm going to start with my fern. I like it through here. I like it up there. I know that I love it through there. So actually, I'm going to start up here, I think. that we're missing at the moment as well. So I'm going to bring it through. I liked that bit of green up in there, so we're not going to do full coverage. I just might like that. We're going to bring it down. Now we're starting to get a bit dark on this other side here, so I'm going to bring in some of that darker colour and we're going to bring that up. I've still got some of that fern on my brush. Sort of see, you can see. So we're coming onto the door. I'm just bringing that across. So I'm just making sure that I'm consistent from one side to the next as much as I can be. I'm going to come around that side. I'm going to bring up. So this is just some of the rainforest on my brush at the moment. Now, I want to make sure that I get as much paint into all these details as I can, just so that there's no basin blocker underneath. So I'm just really, really shoving my brush in there. We're going to add some fern up here as well, I think. A bit more, same as what we did originally, because I like this positioning. If I don't like something, I can paint over it, and you can see it does cover quite well. So... There's no real issues with that. If you decide that it's just not working where it is, paint over it. details on this door as well. I want to make sure that they are all really, really covered. As well while we're doing this blend. I'm in with a bit more of that rainforest and we're going to bring it up. Down. Beautiful. This is feeling like it's a bit too defined and I don't want that. So we're just going to buff it out a little bit. Beautiful. Now I'm liking this colour here, but I want to bring it down. So I reckon that was the vineyard. You don't have to remember exactly, but I think that was mostly vineyard. So we're going to bring that across and down and I'm going to come up into the leaf with it as well. And there's still pat on my brush, so it's going to all mix together really, really nicely. Like so. 
I'm just going to drag my chair. All the way up, and I can't actually sit on it properly because <laughs> I'm too short. Okay, that's better. Sometimes you just want to be a little bit more face height with it. So, where are we? I feel like I want to bring more of this uh, vineyard. I'm really liking the tone of the vineyard through here, so I'm going to bring that out and down the bottom too. Beautiful, and then I'm gonna bring it on to a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it onto this door and bring it across and down. And I'm gonna grab some of that fern in with it. That's better. Now I feel like my chair's too low. Oh! I need a foot rest when it's too high. <laughs> I'm just too short. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Tanya. It is beautiful, isn't it? I know. I One day, I don't have room in my house at all, but one day I'm hoping to have a piece like this. I'm thinking in our bedroom, but if, like, we don't have a hallway at all, but one day, one day we will. Um, I, lo I love greens, and I've done this blend quite a few times now um, with these sort of, this colour palette, but I really want to do one in pinks and purples as well. Uh, so that's on the list for one day. Now I'm just making sure I get up and underneath that door as well. Yeah, that side I did, this side I didn't. Um... Up here and down here, we don't have our coverage yet. You can still see, you can really heavily see the brush strokes a little bit over here as well. Um, yeah, we can just really see the brush strokes. I think we want to, I want to go a bit darker down the bottom. So we're going to push the fern out of the road. We're going to come in with the wilderness and we're going to do more of the, What's it called? Rainforest. I'm almost like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel right now with this rainforest. I might have to grab. Uh, I do have some of the rainforest on the, uh, uh, on the shelf, but I'm thinking I might. Um, I've got a hooker's green, which is a very similar, but it's less blue, but it's nice and dark as well. I might have to grab that out, but we will see how we go. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm liking this bit of paler green there in the middle. It just got really cold in here. Hang on. I turned the heater off like an hour ago because it was quite warm and now it's starting to get really cold in. It started raining again. We have a... Finally, I don't think I have a face about. We have an industrial heater now. It's a three-phase. So it's really quite powerful and it heats this shed it does a really good job um i think we got a 10 kilowatt and it does a really really good job in here we could have gone a little bit bigger but like if i turn it on in the morning and shut the door and give it half an hour it is it's warm enough in here that you don't have to feel like you like you don't have fingers so it does all right all right i want to bring that was a lot that was way too much let's bring some of that up here too and while it's on my brush, bring some down there because that was way too much. So I'm just going to bring that rainforest down. Where's my... Oh! It's just... Where do I put you? Over there. See? Um, I just scooped up my bit of the, I don't even know what colour it is, the wilderness that was on the table around the corner as I walked around there just there. Some of our fern and put it back over the top because I 
did like that little bit of, gave a really nice mottled look just there. That's better. Now up here on the door, you know what more of this. Yeah, this is what I want. So we're just bringing it up. That's better. Now over here, that like that's not blended at all. See how it's just sort of sitting there and it doesn't look right. We want it to look good. So we're just going to, I feel like this brush is a bit big for me right now. That's too small. Big one's just feeling a bit too big on the, on the uh, doors. Switch your brush. Uh, I'm bringing this up. I want a little bit of our fern. And then we're going to scrub that all together. That looks better. Beautiful. Alright, let's wet this bit up here and spread this out. Break up that green. Just a touch. It's all green, but that was like, it was just feeling a bit heavy one colour. And I just want to pull away from that just a little bit. That looks better. And I'm going to bring in a little bit more of that fern over here, I think. I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really quite good. Buff up that bit a little bit more. Beautiful. All right, let's look up this drawer. Now I'm really liking the light and the dark here. I think I want to spread this dark out a little bit more. So we'll come in with, that's too much. Um, you're not going to be able to hear me at all, so I won't say much right now. I won't say anything important right now. How's our battery going? Hang on. You're not going to hear anything now because I'm going to have to unplug the mic for a few minutes while I plug in the charger. solution why we didn't have a thing so this is the first part that's the plug it's a dowel thing that then plugs into a big thing with lots of ports and then the charger plugs into it. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna unplug our mic. I'm hoping, praying it does not mess up our sound. I apologize if it does. Normally it's okay when it cuts out. So I'm hoping, he's hoping. <laughs> Sorry if it does. Ooh, right. I'm hoping you can still hear me. I sincerely apologize if you don't, if you can't. Um, we'll let it be plugged in. Tell me, Apple We will let that be plugged in for a little bit. Um, and we'll keep going. You, like I've said all the important stuff, so don't stress if you can't hear this properly. I know my back's to the camera, my back's to the mic. Um, it's not, don't stress too much, okay? I've said the really important stuff, so let me bring you in a bit closer up to this drawer. All right, here's our drawer. So I just wanna smooth this line out here. I'm liking the light but I feel like this is sort of out of place. I'm liking this corner until about here and then this end, not done, not done enough. So I think first we're gonna start, uh, let's bring in some of our fern. I'm gonna bring our fern all the way across I think. And a little bit more. And then we're gonna come in with some of our dark. And we're just gonna move that around a little bit. I'm going to come in with some of our light, our light colour. Oh, I'm just going to pull that across. I haven't used this colour as much on this side, on this blend so far. Um, It's raining. It is really, really, really raining. Um, let's hope it finishes before school pickup, shall we? Now, I want to come in with, hang on. Ridiculously, oh, sorry guys, <laughs> under the extension. I just got our yellow in that and I want to just hear where the handle is. I don't think you can hear me, but that's okay.
corner. He's coming in the door. getting any better. I'm hoping the roof doesn't leak anymore. There is a very big puddle coming in underneath that door and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> this is good isn't it? Alright, I want to come in with some of these colours just a little bit down here. some of the uh, fern. Now we're going to start moving towards this door. So we're just going to spin it this way a little bit. I want to, I'm really liking this bit. I really don't want to touch that any more than I actually need to. I want to bring it down though. This bit is really not, not working for me. So I'm going to start with my fern. Bring that through there. I'm going to bring it across a little bit too. We're going to bring in a little bit of our darker green. I want a little bit more down here at the door and I want to bring it up into this corner as well. We're just going to bring it down. Like so. I really like that now, actually. Um, I'm liking this brighter green down the bottom here, actually. So I'm gonna bring in a little bit of that and a little bit of yellow. And then along the base, so I'm liking it dark. I like this little bit of light, but I feel like it's not quite there. So I'm gonna come in with some vineyard first. I'm gonna see if my chair can come this way. Oops, sorry. Okay, those for a second. Yep, we're all twisted. Sorry, I'm just untangling myself so I can sit here for a second without breaking anything, ideally. 
Oh, right. So I'm just coming down, um, down into this base a little bit. I'm just really spreading. Pretty much just what's on my brush. I did bring in some vineyard just then. But I'm just looking to bring some of that down. I'm going to grab a little bit of our um, rainforest. And just really gently sort of just brush it over that bit more than anything. I'm not looking to add a lot. Add a little bit so you can see. Let's grab a little bit more of the rainforest. And we're going to bring it up into this corner here as well. Like so. I'm going to come in with a little bit of that wilderness, the Otenico one. Blend that in really well with that rainforest. I just pull that through. I'm liking this bit of yellow here, which is the yellow opera. So I'm just going to grab that's probably a bit more than what I wanted. A little bit on my brush. I'm going to bring a little bit down the bottom here too. I'm just sort of going to feather it out a little like so. And then I'm going to come in with just a little bit of the burnt sienna, the brown. And I'm going to bring that up down here onto this door. Like so. And it's really, really, really subtle and it's just enough. I'm going to bring that across and then I'm going to put just a little bit down there too. And you can barely see it in some spots. And a lot of these, like, you're not going to see it unless you're standing here in front of it. Um, but that's the whole idea. We don't want it to be in your face. We want it to be quite subtle. Um, we don't necessarily want to see every single colour and every single layer. It's just sort of sitting there. And because these are such thin layers, we can just keep finessing it until we're happy with it. So I'm going to now work my way back up here. I'm going to start by finding this spray bottle. Where did I put it? I don't know. There it is. Oh, goodness. Right. Spray bottle. I'm just a little bit here on this door. Just a bit, just to sort of spread that out a bit. Same just here. And I'm sort of doing it in every direction as well. Um, down here, I am liking this light bit. So I'm gonna come in with some of our light color first. I'm gonna put that down and then we're gonna blend with that. So that is like, there's a, it's very, very stark. It does stand out quite a lot. So we're gonna come in first. I think we're gonna do a little tiny bit of our rainforest on our brush. And then we're gonna grab a little bit of the fern. There's really no, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, play around with it. There's like, I'm telling you I'm doing this and I'm doing this. It's more just so you can sort of, I think, see my thought process and where I'm sort of going. Um, but you guys do this however you feel. It feels natural. So every single blend is going to be different. This is oh, like I will never in 100 years be able to replicate this. Nobody will be um, because it's so unique to this moment in time. Um, so don't feel like you have to replicate it. You don't have, even have to have the same colors. Just play around. Have a go. Um, start on something smaller. If something this big feels too daunting, 
start on something smaller. Or if something smaller feels like if you're trying it and it's just feeling a bit finicky and like it is too small, go with a bigger surface. surface. Try to find something with some detail on it so that you're not just working on a flat surface. Sometimes a flat surface um, feels like a blank canvas. Even if you've already done your first blend and then you're going over the top, it can, it can feel like it's that blank canvas and that it's just not working. So find something with a bit of detail, add the detail you, yourself. You can get appliques, that sort of thing. Um, you can get molds to make your own if you need to add your own. Um, have a play around with it. This, this finish and this technique, it's very, very individualized. It's always gonna look different depending on what paint you choose. Um, I chatted then because I wanted this to dry just a little bit, but I am going to spritz it just a bit. Uh, now we've got the fern on my brush. And I'm going to bring that down and through. And I'm going to grab this one again, and I'm going to come in with a little bit of that wilderness, I think. Off, just to sort of wipe some of that off and that's also going to help some of those colors underneath come through so you can sort of wet this as you go and wipe it it's not quite there yet I think we want wipe some of that off my brush I think we need some of oh that's way too much I don't want that much I'm gonna do some more of the, what's it called, rainforest. I'm gonna bring it up here through the leaf as well, I think. And really just blend it through, that's what I'm. feels better it looks better I think that's more what I was trying to achieve there I'm gonna bring in some more of this wilderness I'm liking that darker tone down the bottom sorry guys hang on two seconds sun's like in my eyes so I think you can see yes you can okay so we're going to do this leaf a little bit now I just want to smooth it out more than anything um it's feeling I don't think I want that one I think I want that one and that one and let's go back to oh goodness right let's go back to the small brush uh let's start with our fern again I'm liking our fern through here, so let's get that on there first. And we're just going to brush it up into these other bits here a bit as well. So I'm just making sure that um, there's no basin blocker showing through from underneath. So we're just sort of blending that through really, really nicely. 
Uh, we're going to come in with some of our rainforest, which I'm loving down in this bottom corner. And we're going to pull that across and up. I'm going through all of that. Give it a little bit of a twirl through there as well to help pull it all together. So it doesn't look too separated. Through here as well. Mm. A little bit more of this through here. What do I do on that side? I don't want it the same, but I don't want it to... No, I quite like that. I think that works. So I'm not looking to do same, same when it comes from door to door. I don't want, I want it identical. Um, I just want it balanced. That's better. I like that. Come up. Uh, I think I want, I think I want some of this vineyard actually up through here. and down a little bit too. Where'd that light one go? Over there. I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of the light. And I'm thinking I want it through here. Just a little bit. Hmm, yes I do. Oops, sorry. I think up here, I think I want to go dark. Just a little bit. Yes, I do. I like that. Well, get some paint on my brush. So just the rainforest up through the top here. down here I think we'll grab a little bit more of that fern I'm liking that green I'm just going to grab some of that um, viridian from the tube Go a little bit there and I just want to tap that through there I think yeah I like that let's take the same through there actually just a little bit Now, I want to bring some of that yellow, so I'm going to grab some of that. Turn a little that. Mm, let's bring a little bit of that burnt sienna as well. this drawer and the door so this is all now nice and smooth now we're going to work through here so this is still feeling a little bit liney so let's add let's start with our rainforest because I'm liking that dark up the top this was meant to be quite a bright piece and instead we've ended up quite dark in most areas but I think it's working really well so you start with a plan and it never goes to plan so then you just do whatever you like you kind of add a bit more depth in there Starting quite dark up here in this. Draw as well, spreading that out, making sure that we're not like 
all in one spot. I'm gonna grab a little bit of our fern. I'm gonna bring that through there as well. Again, spreading it all out, making sure we're not just having a big plop of one color. We want it really, really well blended. Oh, my hands are hard enough. And then coming down onto that door that little bit more as well, just to make sure that it's not looking patchy. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that, um, the burnt sienna. Actually, I want a little bit less than that. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna bring that down through there as well. I haven't really added any to the other door yet, but while I'm here, and I'm feeling it, and I'm feeling like that's what I wanna do, I'm gonna do it now. Just a little bit. Beautiful, I'm liking this. I definitely wanna add more of that down here though, so while I'm here, like you're not gonna see all this because there will be a handle back on. Draw. I'm liking the dark. I think I want to keep most of this quite dark on this side. So let's bring that across. A little bit more of this. And then I'm going to grab some of that fern as well and blend it with that. Oops, I don't want too much there though. So I like that where it was. So just gonna bring it up, little swirly swirl. That's quite nice. I think I want, let's go to the wilderness, the darker green as well. Just smooth it out. Hang on, I just need to stand back a little bit. This side's what my issue is, I think. It's just not quite now. Yeah, I think I want a little bit of that 3D in as well, actually. If there's any left on my palette, there is. Well, that was quite a lot, but that's okay. That's a bit better. A little bit of the yellow and the orange, and that was quite a lot. Just gonna wipe some of that off and then blend it out. And bring it down a little bit as well just so it's not like all in that one spot up the top mm -hmm. I can't want that I think um I want just a little bit more of this through there just a little bit I'm gonna leave this draw for a minute I'm not a thousand percent happy with it but I'm pretty happy let's leave the draw for a minute Lots of time. Oh, 2.13. Okay, I've got about 10 minutes and then I have to go do school pickup. Let's come and do, we'll do this edge as we come around the corner. So let me move you this way a little bit more. Um, so we're going to get, we'll get this side done quickly. I might need to finesse it a little bit more tomorrow, but we'll see how we go. So let's start with, I want to bring this dark, uh, the vineyard, uh, not vineyard, sorry, the rainforest around. And we've got some light here, but we've got quite a bit of dark too. So I do want to bring that around first. So it's too big a brush, I think. Down the bottom. I'm just going to... Oh, my paint's so 
over here. I just feel like I'm on an awkward angle for this side and it's throwing me out a little bit. So I'm just going to go this side of you. And I apologize if I've blocked the way a little bit. Can you see? You can see pretty well. The sun's sort of behind us now. So, and of course the camera doesn't light the sun. So, of course the sun comes out now, but here we are. All right, that's better. I just felt like on the side, I couldn't see it properly. So we've just got the, there's like nothing in this jar. I definitely want some more of it down the bottom here though, so let's bring it down there and bring it up a little bit too. But I think we'll grab some of that burn. Let's bring that through here. I think we want to bring some up here too. Again, actually, it's quite warm in here. Um, we'll see how we go. I just want a tiny little bit more of that bed. Nowhere near as much as what's in my brush. I'll bring it down through here. I've like so. Let's come in with some of that wilderness, the darker green. And that, put that through there as well. What am I wanting? I'm going to want some light green. Just a little bit. I want more down here too. Yes, that's what I needed. Up a little bit. This one here. Out. That's better. I just wanted to break up that dark just a little bit. I know you guys really can't see what I'm doing because that sun's in such a, such a crap spot. I just had a phone call then and I think it might have cut out a little bit. Nope, it's okay. I should have really like that, I think. The very base isn't working for me, but I do like the rest. I think I want some more dark along the space on this side. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's good green here, which I think is the Viridian. I've just got a little tiny bit here. And I'm going to bring that up. Okay. All right, I'm really, I'm quite happy with this at the moment. Let's bring a little bit of that light down the bottom, I think. I want it dark, but I kind of want just a little bit. Yes, that's better. Okay. So... I'm out of time simply because I have to go do school pick up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave it here. And it's hard to leave it. Right, I have to leave it. Okay, so thank you all for joining me. Let me take you in for a little quick close-up before I go. Um, 
so we've sort of we've done our two coats a little bit more finessing i think but we're pretty much where we're pretty much where i wanted to be today so i'm really really happy with it so what i'll do i'll go through and i'll just do a little bit more finessing um a little bit more of our um these colors so our um burnt sienna our uh yellow okra and viridian viridian um so i'll do a little bit more of those on it just sort of finesse it finish it off um and then the painting side of things is done um I will seal this with a matte sealer just because I've used a uh, chalk paint as well and I just want to make sure this is really really well protected so we will seal this so that will be the next live and then hopefully after that if this rain goes away even just for a couple of hours in the morning I will get the top of it sanded as well so I'm hoping to have this finished by Friday so our next live uh, I think we'll be sealing it that's that's the goal um, but the outside of it will get it done and then hopefully it stops raining long enough for me to get the timber through inside. But let me give you a quick, oops, wrong button, sorry. Quick close up of where we're at. So it's like, I'm really, really happy with it, but I feel like it still needs a little bit of work. Coming through, standing back so you can get the full effect i really really like it i think it's gorgeous and then our other side around here so this side definitely needs more work um but i'm really really happy with that there's our texture so i've got a few bits like this where it's still it's a little bit brush strokey for me so i'm just going to come through got all that delicious texture is just it's just adding a bit bit more to it oh no we've still got a glaze what am i talking about we're gonna glaze and um we're we gonna distress a little bit we're still there's lots more fun to come i'm like right we're on the ceiling no we're not we're nowhere near we still got more to do so i think i'll be tomorrow i don't know let me have a play around with it tomorrow morning and we might have another live about 12 o'clock ish tomorrow i think all right thank you all so much for joining me if you're following us on youtube uh, or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.